Are you wondering how to add a signature field to a Smartsheet form? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you a couple of different options and giving you some tips, tricks, and suggestions along the way. So as you can see here, I've just created a dummy sheet. And in this example, we are basically got a recruitment form um, where applicants would be submitting uh, their applications for this particular role. So of course, this is just dummy data and do consider that this process will work depending on the different sheets that you have. You will need to set up some columns, but I'm gonna uh, recommend those in due course. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just gonna build a form off of this uh, sheet. Um, if I click the forms button and click create form, as you can see, it's pulled in all of those uh, different fields. So that's one thing I would recommend is starting with your, your sheet first and then obviously building the form out of it. It just will save you a lot of time. Uh, and then of course you can go in here and change the formatting and change some of the text as well if you, should, if you, if you wanted. Um, but the first way to, to get that signature field is with a simple file upload form element. So as you can see here, it appears on the left hand side. What you can do is you can drag it down to the bottom or wherever you would need it in your in your form. And what you can do here is you could change the label to signature and then perhaps add a little bit of additional commentary in the help text, something like, um, please, uh, please write your signature on a piece of paper, take a picture and upload here. And then of course, when the applicant or whoever's submitting the form wanted to up, uh, submit, submit their signature along with their form entries, that's exactly what they would do. And they'd literally just drop it in here. Um, and then when they hit submit, it would come through onto your sheet as an attachment. So that's one option. It's not the favored option though. I'm gonna be showing you that instead. So I'm actually gonna remove this, um, but do consider this as a potential option for you. So let me just uh, remove this and we'll go through to option two. So I'm gonna hit save and we're gonna use that again. Um, but this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the second approach. And here, what I would actually suggest you do is create a new column and we're gonna call it signature and keep it as a text or number in the column type. Press okay. So we've got that in here. Now, um, you could also actually, we'll do another one as well. This, this one's more mandatory uh, for the second uh, means of, of going about this, um, but you could just do this as well. You could do a confirmation and a checkbox. So it isn't always, um, and we're gonna restrict it to checkbox use only. This may not be required, but it's an additional step just to make sure that any kind of submitter of the form is fully aware of what they're kind of doing. So it's uh, more of a compliance thing, really. So we've got these two columns in. We go back to our form. Of course, we can create a new one. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm gonna click on Manage. We're going to um, edit the existing form here. And because this field wasn't included in the original creation, it's gonna appear on the left-hand side. But what we could do here is simply drag this in And we would make this required. So we need this to be a required field to make sure it's kind of uh, filled out. And again, um, we've because of the column header, we've already got this um, signature name in the in the field itself. But in the help text, we could we could simply stay, uh, state, uh, please um, please submit your full name, which we will use as a form of signature. Of course, this text, this is just an example. You may want to use your own uh, terminology and text here or in phrase that, that kind of suits uh, your organization or, or what have you, but this is just an example. So we'd have this here. And then, as I've said, we've got a confirmation uh, filled as well. Um, and we could even kind of, uh, you know, let's put it here. Um, we could even put something like, please, make, again, make it required and put something like, please confirm you understand that the above field is the equivalent of a signature and if I can spell correctly and confirms, I can't spell, and confirms your, um, oh, what is the, I can't think of the word now, confirms the words, 
confirms your consent in providing in accepting such data in in, in confirms your consent let's leave it at that because my brain is starting to go on me um, and we can have the default value is unchecked and we'll just leave it like that so we hit save now if we open the form of course this can be shared this is the second option it's the recommended option then so when they go in here they would literally put in their full name uh, and then they check, click that checkbox. Again, this confirmation isn't necessarily required, but it probably is recommended just to give that user of the form that additional um, understanding of what they're really doing here. So that's how to add a signature field to a form in Smartsheet. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, I've got a whole Smartsheet training playlist with uh, over 80 videos at time of recording. So there's plenty to get, get going with there. And there is also a lot to learn. So if you're new to the tool, then I would really recommend heading over there and read, uh, watching some more videos, I should say. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.